Hi, Larry Buxton here. This is Leading with Spirit. Do you remember the Andy Cap comic strip? Maybe it's still running. That focuses on Andy, who's a British layabout, doing his best to avoid work and all general responsibilities. One strip I remember shows Andy stumbling home from the pub when he meets the vicar coming the other way. And the vicar tisk tisks Andy for his drinking, but Andy's not having any of it. Instead, he quotes to the vicar an old poem he learned and says, Vicar, there's so much good in the worst of us and so much bad in the best of us that it ill behooves any one of us to try to judge the rest of us. It's a cheeky response, as Andy would say, but he's right. We're all a mixed lot. We want to clarify who are the good politicians and who are the jerks, who are the leaders of strong character and who aren't, who are the friends or congregational leaders or coaches that we can trust and who aren't. And that's far from easy. One of my favorite preachers pointed this out in her recent sermon on Jesus' parable of the sheep and goats. Other religions have versions of this very same judgment scene too, by the way, where the faithful people, the sheep, are clustered on one side and the selfish goats are on the other. But here's the problem. The image is a snapshot, whereas life is a movie. The parable freezes a fluid moment in time, and in that one flash, people are forever trapped on one side or the other. The truth is, no single moment can ever accurately convey the muddled and in-process nature of our human character. The Best Picture winner in the Oscars in 2006 was Crash, and featured such actors as Don Cheadle, Sandra Bullock, Thandie Newton, and Matt Dillon. In this movie, as many people's lives intersect and crash into each other, we meet good and bad all combined in a single person. The racist policeman capable of great heroism. The immigrant store owner who buys a gun for the best of reasons but uses it in the worst of ways. The virtuous officer forced to humiliate himself because he will not overlook his partner's abusiveness only to discover later that he has the same impulses in himself. We're all, the preacher said, incomplete saints. And every judgment we make this side of heaven is provisional, so hold it lightly. Because some days you miss the hungry stranger, the lost newcomer, the veteran on the median, the bound too tightly employee who's not in jail, but somehow imprisoned all the same. When you do, judge yourself lightly. And some days your partner fails you or appalls you. Your pastor or imam disappoints you. You disgust yourself. Judge lightly. Because we all live in grace, in an ocean of forgiveness and mercy. We work hard to be people of integrity. We work to be patient and courageous and fair. But we also shape our character by learning to surrender, by being forgiving, and tender and compassionate by practicing it and receiving it. Because inevitably, every leader, every person of character and principle ultimately discovers the truth that there's so much good in the worst of us and so much bad in the best of us. It ill behooves any one of us to try to judge the rest of us. So be slow to judge, quick to forgive, and abounding in steadfast love. I hope you'll like and subscribe to these weekly Leading with Spirit videos on character and leadership. You can easily access them for free through LarryBuxton.com. And a special welcome to you new subscribers as you join this growing community, which is here simply to encourage you in the challenging work of leading families, congregations, teams, and organizations. Hey, thanks for watching. God bless you.